Hey gang, uh, everyone's been asking if the new South Park game is any good, um, and uh, the answer is yes, it's it's amazing. Um, so I thought I'd make a little video, um, just of, like a little bit of gameplay, just so everyone knows like what's going on. Um, I've never done one of these before, so I thought it'd be kind of fun. Oh, a couple Nazi zombies over here. We'll give them the business. You swine jagged. These are this is my character and then Timmy is my ally. Uh, let's do something cool. Big So like each character has like special abilities. Um so like <laughs> for instance, that gives us more. This little ability bar up here. This is pretty awesome. Close your eyes, no more thinking about thinking about future troubles. Little leave now with Tar Hero. For you in here. Let's see. Let's give him the sort of endings. Um, so like each character has their like free action they can do, uh, which is either use your little R cord for instance for Timmy, or you can use one of your items, which is like all kinds of, this, this game's pretty in depth. You can switch, I'll switch to Kenny. You guys have been great. wondering why uh, Nazi zombies are wandering the streets of South Park, um, you'll have to play the game because I'm not going to spoil uh, all that for you. But you can summon Jesus. This is all things I picked up through the game. Um, I'll summon... Yeah, let's do this. This guy dead. Oh, that guy's already dead. Alright, whatever. This could be kind of fun. Oh. Yeah, that, that just happened. Let's see. And then you can loot, loot the bodies. Just take all. Play this game a lot like Skyrim. You just sort of take everything. You can whack people. Doesn't really do anything. You can also fart on them. Excuse you. Whoa. <laughs> so this is sort of like the non-combat part of the game. You walk around, do stuff. What kind of monster are you? Anything with a gold thing you can try to open. Like this one's locked, for instance. Snack machine, you can buy stuff. Um, you can like, it's different like fart spells you can do. Kind of like the Dragonborn. It's like this one you like control and you can fart on like kids. I'll skip this part, so it doesn't ruin the, the story for you. So, another combat sequence. Here's your bow. This is one of my, like, all-time favorite abilities. So much fun. And during these little, like, action sequences like this, like, you're supposed to do stuff, but it's way more fun when you fail this one. It's kind of like Final Fantasy where it's turn based. You get a turn, then your ally gets a turn, and you control your ally, and then the other guy gets a turn. And then, I mean, this game's pretty. Made an alliance with the goth kids? Pretty in depth. There's like all kinds of friend requests, and they say funny shit in here. You can change all your items, change all your stuff you wear, hair, goggles, and all kinds of. Choose your abilities, your this is like your little quest screen. It's a pretty in-depth game and it's a lot of fun. I think I've almost got all the trim Pokemon. Oh, I'm still missing quite a few. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yeah. I've been playing this game for like three days straight and I'm still got quite a lot of gameplay to go as far as I can tell. 
yeah, if anyone's uh, considering getting the game, uh, you should definitely get it. If this didn't change your mind, uh, then I don't know what will. Peace.